In the United States, MR is the procedure of choice. It's efficacious, operator independent, and well reimbursed. But you can do just as well with ultrasound if you really put your mind to it and if you're experienced. But it's very operator dependent and it's a long examination. Frankly, I've never been able to train my sonographers well enough to do it without me. So pretty much this, this means I'm going to go in there and do a bilateral whole breast on these implants. So, you know, the truth of the matter is if, if the main issue is this an implant rupture or not, I'm perfectly happy to let him go to MR. But the majority of women with implants are perfectly happy with their implants. They have no implant related complaints. And they're really presenting for the same reason every other woman presents, mammographic abnormality or palpable lump. So they're not in there to have their implants evaluated anyway. So guess what? Even though MR is probably the most efficacious way to look at implants, we're going to see 10 or 100 times more implants in ultrasound than we ever see in MR because it's rare that people actually get referred for an MR for implants. But every single day we see four or five women with implants. Well, I'm in California. It's more like 10 there, but, <laughs> you know, it depends where you're at. In California, everybody's got them, I guess. Sonography is the procedure of choice for evaluating a mammographic or palpable abnormality. So despite the relative advantages of MR, we're going to see more in ultrasound than we ever see in MR. Thus, the breast imager who does breast ultrasound has to be familiar with the range of normal and abnormal within implants. So here's principles to keep in mind. The variety of implants is so great that it's impossible to detect implant abnormalities unless you understand the full range of normal.